The Primus EPIC Plainview system on Gulfstream aircraft features several databases that provide the pilot with navigation and other flight information essential to safe flight. These databases must be updated periodically. The updates can be found on red and blue CDs provided by Honeywell and Jefferson. The blue CD contains electronic terminal chart updates and must be updated every 14 days. The red CD contains navigation database updates and other essential flight information and must be updated every 28 days. In this video, we'll demonstrate updating the red disk on an EPIC Plainview Series Gulfstream aircraft. These procedures are applicable to all Primus EPIC Plainview Gulfstream aircraft. To perform this task, you'll need the updated databases, a remote terminal, and an interface kit like the LANTAP-10. If you don't have one, you can order it online from ICS Aero or LAN Connections. There are three steps you should follow to perform the update. Connect the remote terminal, load the software, and finally, verify the databases. Before you begin, the aircraft must be properly set up. To load software, the aircraft must be on the ground and the avionics system must be powered on for about 10 minutes. Make sure that all MAU, MRC, and DMU circuit breakers are closed. Once the aircraft is set up for the load, connect the remote terminal to the aircraft LAN. On the Gulfstream G450 and 550 aircraft, there are two LAN connections and a panel behind the co-pilot's seat. Using the coax cable from the LAN TAP-10 kit, connect one end to the LAN. Connect the other end to the BNC connector on the LAN TAP. Connect one end of the Ethernet cable and USB cable to the LAN TAP and the other end to the remote terminal. Now we're ready for the load. Locate the appropriate CD. Today, we'll be loading a red disk. Insert the CD and launch the CMC software. Click on Extended Maintenance and then Data Loader. Select Data Loader again and wait until the CD is preloaded before continuing. Select Full Load. Locate the CD drive and select the files to be loaded. The files on the CD that can be loaded are labeled DRPN. If you don't know which files to load, refer to the document titled Epic Loading Instructions located on the CD. Once the files are highlighted, click on Select File and the configuration check will start. During the configuration check, the software will determine the files to be loaded based on what files are already loaded on the aircraft. It also calculates the time needed for the load. If a module doesn't pass the configuration check, it won't be loaded. However, you can do a second attempt at the end of the procedure. After the configuration check completes, start the load. During the load, the cockpit displays may turn off or display red X's. This is normal. The load can take several minutes. At times, it may seem as if the load is frozen or stopped. However, it is extremely important that you don't interrupt the load. The load status list may show 100% and say finishing. However, the load is not fully completed until the message loading sequence complete is displayed. The load status list shows all the modules that received a data load. Go through the list and look for any modules that did not receive the data load. If any loads fail, wait until the loading process is complete and select Retry. Selecting the Retry button will automatically examine the list of modules for failures and will attempt a single reload of any modules that were not updated on the original attempt. Another option is to go back and target load the failed module. If the load fails twice, cycle power to the affected module and try the load again. File loading errors are entered into a fault log on your remote terminal. 
The fault log is normally located in the C drive in a folder titled DLS Work. If you encounter any problems that you can't easily resolve, copy the log file and send it to the Honeywell or Gulfstream help desk. Once the data has been loaded onto the aircraft, perform a software load check to verify that the databases were loaded properly. Once all the software is loaded, power down the aircraft and wait at least two minutes before reapplying power. Once power is reapplied, wait at least five minutes. Using the cursor control device, access the CMC page on a display. The navigation, charts, terrain, and electronic checklist databases are displayed here. Verify that the appropriate databases are updated. Disconnect the remote terminal and be sure to put the termination resistor back on the connector. For more details on data loading, refer to the Aircraft Maintenance Manual or the Data Loading Procedures Familiarization Guide. For technical assistance, contact the Honeywell Technical Operations Center.